Today in Barbados history, we'll talk of Mark Stokes. Mark Stokes, a Trinidadian expat living in Barbados, was a lighting man for a large charity show. Many knew nothing of the behind the scenes wild parties that he gave that included the political establishment. Even attorneys were at Mark's parties. In the weeks before he disappeared, he appeared jittery and there were several unsuccessful but obvious attempts to break into Mark's apartment. Another producer of the show had recently returned from holiday when she went to recover belongings which she had left at Mark's place. She couldn't find him and ringing the producer produce no answers. She tried to get the landlord to force the lock, but the landlord insisted the police be present. She arranged with Mark's significant other to enter his apartment with the police in tow. The apartment scene, saucepan open and filled with rotten food, messy kitchen with dirty utensils strewn about, table set, all his clothes and shoes were there as well as his important documents and jewelry. Most remarkably, she discovered a video recording of the then Chief Justice and the recording was not something that anyone in Barbados at that time wanted discovered. His mini milk had also disappeared and never seen again. A young lawyer in the opposition Barbados Labour Party was the first to break the news when he telephoned the chief justice wife, significant other. She had a significant other outside of her husband and told him that Mark had disappeared and that movies had been taken with the chief justice. The wife told her outside significant other that she knew about the recordings she also disclosed that the now disappeared man had taken those videos to the commissioner of police and tried to use them as leverage to gain residency in the island for Mark Stokes' significant other who had previously been refused. No one knew where Mark had gone Mark's friends showed absolutely no interest, no curiosity, no alarm about his disappearance. His friend, Janine, called Angela Cole in a panic. Angela Cole writes of this particular disappearance in Boys in the Band at page 32 and pleaded, Janine pleaded with Angela to speak to Arrow. The Arrow we refer to here was the Prime Minister of Barbados, Errol Walton Barrow of the Democratic Labour Party, who was at that time away on a sabbatical from his post as the elected Prime Minister of Barbados, and he was teaching at a university in Florida. All of this the disappearance of Mark Stokes in 1973 until today hangs over the August and September months. It morphs down to Sergeant Oliver Jordan, who is now deceased, someone who was investigating Mark Stokes' disappearance. Someone, they say, tampered with Oliver Jordan's drink at a police function and whatever the substance was, he began to hallucinate. 
At the time, he had been investigating the Mark Stokes disappearance and had come upon some damning evidence implicating a VIP, we mentioned who that was, of the highest order. Oliver was a pretty strong-willed person who would not be manipulated or intimidated. And he was feared by many that he was going to bring this matter to a conclusion and it would end up in the newspapers. I will give you a link of where you can read what happened to Oliver Jordan. He did not survive that investigation. His son was one of his sons were allegedly killed. One was allegedly maimed. He lost an eye. It was a rough day in Barbados to take Oliver Jordan out, but he was taken out. But until this day, until this day, 19, 2022, this happened in 1973, and this is August 2022. No one has found Mark Stokes' body. No one knows what happened to him. Mark Stokes disappeared from Barbados, never to be found. The Sheriff Veronica.